Hey everyone, this is Nitro. Continuing on with the Time Rift battles, I am going to be doing the 11-7 Elite Mode map, Light and Dark. So for this fight, grab the hidden chests, and the three feats are no allies are defeated, Elite Team, win with four or less heroes deployed, and Lightning Operations, win the battle within eight rounds. These two totally conflict, Elite Team and Lightning Operations, but... So I suspect this one needs two attempts, More suit. but we'll see. Ah, I remember this one. You have to step on this tile to break the uh, to break the wall. Uh, win within eight rounds on this map. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I'm just thinking, but... Yeah, I just... I don't see it. So the treasure is up here. Uh... And as for my four characters, Leon, Liana, Sophia will be the four. To make things easier on me, just in case, I'm going to switch Sophia to speed boots before I start. Because I think I will need the extra mobility. So there is no way that I can get the treasure in this run, which means if I want the treasure, I'm going to have to come back to this map anyways for a second attempt. But to get all the feats in one attempt so I can easily grab the treasure, it's kind of worth it, I think. So. There we go. Speed boots equipped. Let's jump in and try to get this done. All right. Here we go. Most. So get rid of the characters there. Toss in Leden as my tank. Toss in Liana as a healer. Toss in Leon. For chivalry and attacking. And then toss in Sophia for rewind and regenerate. Okay, here we go. So let in is going to move up initially. Leon can chivalry and attack and retreat. Ledin can start off with a fashion buff. Yana can just, I guess, heal Leon. And I can actually have Sophia trigger the enemies to start moving and attack. So let's just do that. I'm going to place Sophia right here and have her heal herself so she gets extra defense. on Sophia, but due to Shrine Maidens, she survives. And the remaining to do Lancers activate card. So, Ledin is now going to activate Divine Guard. And I want to be able to tank all the hits from these enemies. Let's just place Ledin right here. How about that? Shobu 
をつける時が来たら了解です<笑> Sophia at this point is going to regenerate これはあまり使いたくないですよね Leon can go ahead and crush the Cyclops. And back off. And Liana is going to pray her up right now to heal up my Sophia. Let in. We'll start things off by crushing all these bone dinos. Lava Titans move up to attack me and get ripped up by Lenin. So I can smash my way through the Necromancers at this point. So. Here we go. Lenin. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. Yeah. So Ledin will just crush this necromancer and immediately attack. Leon no longer has chivalry. So he's going to use the assault skill to hit the other necromancer and then get on one of the activation tiles. No! All right. So that opens the gates. Hey. And hey. Hey. what I might as well do here is again my letters. So yes. Because I know I'm going to have to reactivate the skills. So that's just a preparation move. So, because I only have four characters for this clear. I am going to have to give up on the treasure, the, you know, the cherry tree in the top right. But I can still get the full clear, I think, at least. So. Let's start with Leon attacking a gargoyle and then retreating. And then I'm going to have Ledin just the vanguard to protect him. Sophia is going to regenerate. Let him. And now finally, Vienna is going to heal. Here. Right. 
looking good. Oliver is definitely going to attack. Right? So I have to place lead in here to guard him. Leon can chivalry. And assault the Scargoyle. Taking it down. Run to place Leon right here. I'm not going to use Hi? Rewind just yet because I want to save that. Hi. So let's just have Sophia move down and heal up Medin. And then that way Liana can come down as well and heal so, both, both of them to full health. So Okay, so Oliver goes after the gargoyle to finish it off, which is fine. Otherwise, she would have gone after the skeletons in the south. Oliver is probably going to attack this skeleton master from here and so I want these two to attack me. So it's probably going to move let's see. It can move up to here to attack this tile, right? Yes. So actually, for now... Hey. I think I'm going to have to reactivate the Vanguard. Okay. So yes. that means that in can start things off by really attacking one of these skeletons. Yes. I'm going to have to gain him. that he can divine guard and crush these other two hellhounds. So let's... Okay. Before I do that though, let's have Leon try to crush the skeleton first. Perfect. I can move one, two, three, four, five. I'll place my... Beyond here, yes. and have Ledin, the Vanguard here, while Sophia will once again regenerate Ledin, and Sage has had him. Both Hellhounds fall. To let him this way. And then I move over to the right to kill Rag and the other remaining Hellhound. Turn seven. He's going to move up to here, and in terms of AoE skills, he has one that can reach 3 range. So he can be here, then 1, 2, 3, target this tile here. So as long as I'm not there, I'm fine, which means Ledin here is okay. And we 
because next turn is turn 8, which is the last turn. I'm going to have to rewind this turn. So. Prayer up. And Sophia will rewind. It, this is the last turn. So let in. Let's see. So Leon can use chivalry attack on Rag. I was able to one-shot him. And retreat. So that means Liana can again Leon to finish off the Hellhound. I thought I needed Ledin to Divine Guard to do this, but I didn't. So sadly, can't grab the treasure, but when you only have four characters deployed, you can't expect to grab it. Or, in any case, the Hellhound is destroyed. And so, the fight is done with all the feats, although no treasure. I will say what the treasure is in the video description, however. Thanks for watching everyone! I hope you found this video useful, and on that note, Nitro out.